Let's talk a little bit about teacher stress. Way back in the beginning, when we first moved to Florida, we only brought one car. My wife worked at a bank. I worked at the high school, so she would drop me off in the morning. And then she'd pick me up at 5, 30, 6 o'clock at night. I would look out the window, and I'd see her drive up, and I'd walk out. During the time between 2.15 and 5.30, I would correct all the student work and get ready for the next lesson for the next day. Well, one day, I didn't walk out. And she came in, walked into my classroom, and next to my classroom, there was a little office that I shared with the other instructor. And she found me asleep on the floor. But she didn't know I was asleep. I was just laying there. She let out a scream, and of course, it woke me up, and I looked up at her and went, oh, I'm sorry. The day was so stressful, I was exhausted, emotionally just exhausted. And I remember that day, I just was falling asleep, but I couldn't get comfortable. So I just decided, it's not great, but I'm going to lay on the floor and get a nap. She will never forget that day. If you've never been a teacher, and I don't mean a substitute teacher, a teacher where you're responsible, if you've been teaching for two or three years, you know what I mean. It's an exhausting job. It's emotionally and physically exhausting at times. By the end of the day, sometimes if you're driving home, You've been running on that adrenaline and all of a sudden it's quiet in your car and your body just starts to shut down and you stop at a light and even that little bit of time, you almost start to fall asleep. That's how emotionally stressful teaching can be. High school teachers have 25 to 35 students in a classroom. And it's just those students and the teacher. And every 52 minutes, you get a new set of students. And you get a new set of problems, a new set of personalities in that classroom. I'm not saying it's all bad. Sometimes you can't wait for those classes to switch because you got a good mix of personalities in the next class. And every once in a while, I don't know, I would say every three to four years, you get a set of students that you're like, gosh, I can hope I could just live through this year because somehow they just put the wrong set of personalities, the wrong set of students in a class. And it's a battle every day. It's very stressful. And it's very unique to teaching. And it's different at different levels. Elementary school, oh my goodness. I don't know how they do it. They've got the same students. They've got fewer of them. They're younger, but they're there all day. I don't know if that's better or worse. At the high school, they keep changing. In some cases, that's better. In some cases, like, oh my gosh, that fifth period class or that sixth period class. There's always going to be that one class where you're like, can we keep these kids managed so that they're learning something? And just being human beings with each other is sometimes a great challenge. 